What's up guys? So two weeks ago, we were taking the week off after May 4th and uh, all of that madness, putting the canon timeline together. And of course, when we're taking a week off, a bunch of news breaks, and uh, that's when we learned that Tamira Morrison would be showing up in The Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, everyone's kind of throwing around Boba Fett as the character that he'll play, and we'll discuss that. But also, there's the possibility he could be Rex. I've also read people saying that he's going to be playing multiple characters. So we're going to talk about Tamira Morrison <laughs> in The Mandalorian Season 2 and how that all might work. Um, what do you think, Boba Fett or Rex, or both? Um, I don't know. Because there was talk of it being a very small role, I want to go with Rex just, just purely because I've always been in the camp of I don't really want Boba Fett in this show. I don't know why. I just, I just don't. <laughs> but it would be cool if he played both. Okay, I, I think that I think Rex is maybe almost a given. Just knowing that Ahsoka is going to be in the show. Well, again, these maybe. are all rumors. Maybe <laughs> I should yeah clarify. These are all rumors. I think they have some basis. Uh, but Ahsoka being in the show, Filoni being involved. We know he's only directing one episode this season, but it's got to be the one with Ahsoka in it. And I just feel like he would also be like. Yeah, let's throw Rex in there. Yeah, maybe it, let's throw Sabine in there. It's maybe it's one of those things where they planned to get Tamir Morrison in to play Boba Fett, and then they were like, "Oh, he could also play Rex." Yeah, I like the idea of him playing both. Uh, I do want to see him, I guess, as Boba Fett again. People have pointed out that Tamir Morrison is now older than Boba Fett would be at this point in the timeline, but like. It's ILM. They've done digital de-aging, and they've done it very well. Well, plus, I mean, plus, it's like Tatooine kind of ages people a little bit faster, if you follow that theory with <laughs> Obi-Wan. That's even something that they straight up said. I mean, Obi-Wan said in the Ahsoka book that the Tatooine sons were making him appear older, which is like a, that's why Alec Guinness, mm -hmm. that's why Obi-Wan looks so much older than he should be. And that's, I don't really think they're going to pay much attention to the age discrepancies for these characters. Yeah, I mean, he's he's going to look pretty rugged either way. Yeah, I mean, also he got swallowed and spit up by a sarlacc. Who knows what that does to you? That's true. <laughs> yeah, maybe time works differently down there. So, I mean, we, we talked about uh, Boba Fett a bit yesterday when we did our Cobb Vanth video. And yeah, I kind of would really like to see Boba Fett just make a slight appearance. Like, I want them to keep teasing him uh, kind of the way that the Gunslinger episode did, whether that was Boba Fett or it could have been Cobb Vanth, who knows. But I like that he is almost like the Thanos of this, <laughs> where in the MCU we get little scenes with him until finally here he is in Infinity War. And he's the big bad. Right. Do you think he'll be, like, the big bad? In a way. Like, I think the Empire is the one. They're the ones hunting the child, but they could hire Boba Fett to do this job. And that feels like a big final boss for Din Djarin. He's, like, he is the Mandalorian that we now know and love, but he is fighting the original Mandalorian. <laughs> But also, like, is he a Mandalorian? George Lucas said that he wasn't. So, like, it, 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 I've said this before, but for me, it plays very well into that theme of what does it mean to be a Mandalorian? Yeah. And if Boba Fett is, like, this horrible person trying to kill the child, armor doesn't make you a Mandalorian. Yeah. And like he said, if, if he's after the child, boo. Right. Get like, out of here everyone will immediately not be on his side. Like, <laughs> that's that's the key of not introducing him too soon, is everyone's going to be like, oh, yay, the fan favorite. But no, you got to let us get to know Din and the child. And then by the time Boba Fett does come back, we are firmly against him. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes a lot of sense to me, and I think would be a fun showdown. 
Yeah. We also, well, I mentioned the idea that he shows up as Boba Fett and doesn't want the armor back, doesn't want to be that person, have that life anymore. That's true. We could go the complete opposite direction and he could offer advice to Jin Jaren and be like, yeah, I used to live that life and I'm out of it. And it, like, based on how he got into it in the first place he's like i didn't find it fulfilling like we could get some boba fett redemption yeah which obviously star wars is very much about yeah i think that would be very interesting i i it might upset people because it's like not really the direction you would think that they would go but i think it would be interesting for that character yeah and i mean Filoni has definitely surprised people before, like with twin sons, thinking we're about to get this huge blowout between Obi-Wan and Maul, and like, no, very fast and quick. And it's more about how these characters have or have not grown. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen Boba Fett in a long time. He may have grown quite a bit uh, instead of just being set in his ways. Or he could be more like Maul and that he hasn't grown at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I think both are interesting mm -hmm. and that even kind of ties into what george lucas said about the mandalorian people is he thought it was more interesting that during the clone wars like they had grown and they're trying this pacifism thing instead of like no all we do is murder and conquer that's all we've ever done and all we ever will do like he wanted to show that these were a, it was a changing people yeah but what about rex <laughs> What about Rex? Would that, do you see him getting to do more than just like a cameo? Uh, I, I don't think so. I mean, the, the big part about Rex being there would be that he would be with Ahsoka. And I feel like Ahsoka would get the spotlight and it would just be an added bonus that we got Rex. Yeah. And, and there are, again, we're talking rumors, but... There, there's some hints that Ahsoka's episode is going to be a backdoor pilot, so Rex's appearance there could mean that he was going to be in future episodes of this future series. But this is where like the age discrepancy is a little bit weirder because Rex is supposed to age twice as fast, and I think he could still be theoretically alive by this point, but he would be old. <laughs> So that's where, that, that is something that they could just ignore, and I would be fine with it. Mm -hmm. They could, I don't know, make up some reason that, uh, oh, they took out his inhibitor chip, and so he stopped aging twice as fast. Maybe the, maybe the chip had something to do with their aging. Yeah, they could uh, change that easily, I'm sure. Yeah, like I think they could get around it. Uh, but that is one where it makes me scratch my head a little more. It... it, it does make me happy thinking of the idea of Ahsoka and Rex recognizing the child, like the species, oh, and yeah, being yeah, yeah. like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, where'd you find one of those? <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, I think, all I have to say about Tamira Morrison. Do you have anything else? I don't think so. The oh, uh, I did have a thought. Uh, a few people were saying that was D. Bradley Baker going to have any part in this? And I thought it would be cool if, I mean, this is like a ton of work, but it would be cool if they somehow like mixed the two voices into one so that it, you kind of had a little bit of his voice in there, but it depends on how many lines he has. And <laughs> yeah. I don't, that might be a little too much to do. But. I mean, that's, a, I guess, a thing where Cody, or Cody, <laughs> I was going to, uh, Tamira Morrison originally played the clones and like I was specifically thinking of Cody mm -hmm. he was all of the live action clones so I'm like fine with him playing a clone yet again uh, it, it is one of those maybe maybe if he puts his helmet on like it would be kind of fun if D. Bradley Baker's voice came out like yeah. if it was just a, a thing with the helmet yeah and then he his name would be in the credits and yeah. it would just be like a neat little Easter egg. Yeah. Kind of the same way that I'm, this is probably what you're referencing the way Hayden Christensen and uh, Matt Lanter played Anakin in some of those scenes in the final season of the clone wars. Yeah. Like 
I think they could have some fun with it, at least give a nod. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what we think might happen with Rex and or Boba Fett in season two of The Mandalorian. Let us know what you think could happen in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.